A bond is when a company or a government borrows money from the public or banks, who are the bondholders, and agrees to pay it back later. Par value is the amount of money that the company or the government borrows. Usually it's $1,000. Coupon payments are like interest. The company or the government makes regular payments to the bondholders like every six months or every year. The indenture is the legal stuff. It's a written agreement between the company and the bondholder. They talk about things like how much the coupon payment should be and when the money, the par value, will be paid back to the bondholder. The maturity date is the date when the company pays the par value back to the bondholder. The market interest rate is the current interest rate for a bond and it changes every day. Okay, the thing about bonds is that the interest rate or the coupon payments are fixed. They don't change. So if you have a thousand dollar bond and you're getting 10% interest, well, you're getting a hundred dollars payment every year for as long as the bond lasts. In the meantime, interest rates in general go up or down. Okay, say interest rates went up and say bonds are now paying 15%. Well, your bond will be less valuable because yours is only paying 10% while current bonds are paying 15%. On the other hand, let's say that the interest rates went down to 8%. Well, now your bond is more valuable because your bond is paying 10% while bonds that are issued today are only paying 8%. Okay, let's say again for the example that you have a bond with a par value of $1,000 that pays 10% interest and the current market interest rate is 8%. Well, perhaps you'd like to sell that bond to someone else. The question is, how much should you sell it for? In other words, what is the present value of the bond? Okay, basically there are two parts of a bond. And by adding these two parts together, we can figure out what the present value of a bond is. The first is the present value of the coupon payment. Now this is basically just an annuity. The second is the present value of the par value. This can be calculated using the time value of money. Okay, let's do an example. Let's say that you have a bond with a par value of $1,000 and the maturity date is in five years. The annual coupon payments are for $100, which is 10%, and the market interest rate is, like we said before, 8%. In other words, the market interest rate has dropped from 10% to 8% since the bond was issued. If you go to this page and learn about annuities, you'll find that it comes to $399.27. We won't go through how to figure the present value of annuity again right now, because you can go to the other page, but if you're going to figure it out yourself, for the interest rate, use 8%, and for the number of compounding periods, use 5, and for the payment, use the $100. Using this information, you'll find that the present value is $399.27. The present value of the par value is the $1,000 that you're going to get discounted by 8%, which is the market interest rate. To understand this, you have to use the time value of money information that we taught you earlier. If you don't remember it, you can go to this page, which will explain it to you again. The equation would look like this. $1,000, the future value, equals the present value times 1.08 to the power of 5. 1.08 to the power of 5 equals 1.4693280. So, you divide both sides by that number, and you get $680.58. Okay, now you just add these two numbers together. The present value of the coupon payments, which is an annuity, is $399.27. The present value of the par value, which you figured out using time value of money, is $680.58. When you add these two numbers together, the present value of the bond is $1,079.86. Now it's logical that the present value of the bond is more than the bond's par value because the interest rates have dropped which means that your bond is now more valuable than the bonds being issued today at the lower interest rate. Copyright 2008 by TeachMeFinance.com. All rights reserved.